Yeah, hello, we are back here um, and I'm actually together with uh, the captain of Global Youth Day, uh, Gilbert Kenji. So, um, Gilbert Kenji, you have been the captain of Global Youth Day Air or from, of GYD Air GYD. for the last 11 hours, actually. You were flying uh, and landing at various destinations. So, what was your highlight so far for, of Global Youth Day 2016? Well, uh, Stefan, uh, last year at this time, if you told me that I was going to fly a 787, a Boeing 787, uh, for 24 hours, I'd say that you were a dreamer. Yeah. Uh, but it's a great achievement for me. <laughs> yes. No, it's amazing how our people are creative and I, I need to give credit to the designers of this set, um, which indicates that there is growth, there is uh, development, there is increase in every aspect of the operation of Global Youth Day. Yeah. So for me, um, I measure the progress of Global Youth Day in terms of the vision. So what is the vision of Global Youth Day? Um, we speak the prophetic language because right from the beginning we say there are 8 million people on the streets. We don't have 8 million people, but it's a prophetic statement because we want to see total involvement of our young people. But compared to 2013 when we started, as I look at what's happening today, even uh, from my home um, division of the South Pacific, for the first time, I see Papua New Guinea, I see the Solomon Islands, which are large population bases of the church, and to see those people being featured, to see an hour from MENA, uh, and uh, they, they kind of hesitated to kind of live completely, but to see the engagement of those young people, and probably more importantly, to see young faces on the set. Yeah. You know, in Melbourne, in Sydney, and in Menar as well, it is actually the young people driving the program. So uh, the vision is gradually coming into reality. Uh, and the vision is to see um, the emergence of an aligned movement of young people uh, globally. And when you hear the language that our young people are, are talking and the excitement that they are carrying, I am starting to become skeptical about this old disengagement thing. Yeah because this idea of disengagement does not work with what I see. So I think, Stefan, um, it, it is being proven once again that once you give young people an opportunity, some space to lead and to express their devotion and their creativity, I think that in itself will go a long way to stem the so-called disengagement that we experience. So it's good to see that young people are actually um, motivated to be um, involved in spreading the gospel. And uh, one of the key phrases of Global Youth Day is to be the hands and feet of Jesus. Uh, the church has also come out now uh, for the for a global with the global slogan "Total um, Member Involvement." Right. Uh, what part of, of uh, do the young people play in this? Well, we have, we have the youth version of it. For us, it's total youth involvement. Uh, in fact, uh, the leaders of youth ministry, we were together just over a week ago, and we uh, took an action to embrace the theme, pass it on. It's like a relay race. And we have realized that it's time to recognize the giftedness of all our young people and those young people who sit on our pews and remain uh, kind of inactive are the same young people who are driving multi-million dollar uh, kind of budget in the business world, in the private world, and they come to church and they get bored. It's time to pass on the relay, to give them the baton, to give them the keys and empower them to take leadership. So uh, yes, our determination in this whole movement of total church involvement, total member involvement is actually total youth involvement. And if, if, if the trend that we have seen tonight is sustained, and I think we're gonna move closer and closer to that reality. Yes. Um, so um, what the church also needs is the, dynamis, uh, the dynamics of young people and you see it actually happening in Global Youth Day. Absolutely. What, what kind of, of, of um, enthusiasm that is there with the young people. So I think as, as a church we, um, we do good if we um, give young people also the lead in many of our activities and decisions actually that we do. Um, so leadership for young people is one of the aspects and that leads me also to another thing, uh, which connects somehow to Global Youth Day, because um, 
Global Youth Day is, of course, a global initiative. But we will have also another global event coming, uh, which is in 2018, uh, and this is the Global Youth Ministries Convention or Congress. And it will actually happen here in Germany, not far away from our studio here, and we are already preparing this big event. Uh, we want to talk a little bit about this, uh, but before we do that, we can see a little clip.